CSI Walton High School. We're going to be solving mass murders. All right, Lindsay, let's head to our crime scene. Let's go. What do we have here? Looks like a double wound to me. I wonder how we're going to find our murderer. Let's investigate the scene. But how will we find out where our murderer was standing? We can measure the angle from the head wound to the blood spatter, and we can measure the angle from the heart wound to the blood spatter. Good idea. All right, Lindsay. Now that we've set up our lab station and our crime scene, let's find these angles and find where our murderer was standing when he shot. We're assuming the angle from the splatter to the heart wound is 45 degrees. Hmm, interesting. A unit circle number. The angle from the splatter to the head wound is 30 degrees. 30 degrees? That's a number, another unit circle number. <laughs> now with these unit circle angles, let's go catch our criminal. Back at the forensics lab, we're going to figure out where the killer was standing. All right, Lindsay, let's start with our equation. Sine of u plus v equals sine of u cosine of v plus cosine of u sine of v. Remember, lab partners, your u and your v are the two angles you find. Your sine is going to be your y value, and your cosine is going to be your x value. Let's plug them in, partner. So sine of 30, cosine of 45, plus cosine of 30, sine of 45. So this y value of 30 is 1 half times the x value of 45, which is root 2 over 2, plus the x value of 30, which is root 3 over 2, times the y value of 45, which is 1 half. 1 half times root 2 over 2 is root 2 over 4, plus root 3 over 2 times 1 half, which is root 3 over 4. Once you add those together, you get root 3, I mean root 2 plus root 3 over 4, which is the angle at which our killer was standing. You can also use these formulas to help solve your next crime.